Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back to another quarantine edition. It's a cold, crummy, 30-degree day here in Indiana. So I figured I wanted to grab one of my smaller projects and knock it out that I was going to do way back when, just didn't have time to get around to it. You guys ever seen this? Big, fat zombie goldfish? My daughter comes home from school with this. That's what she reads in school, which is awesome. And I thought, you know what? That guy's so freaking cool. I bet you I can make him. So went on Amazon, found a bunch of used copies for her of this little zombie goldfish. And I thought, you know what? I got some clay. Let's uh, throw some polymer clay at this guy and make him up. I got some yellow. I got some orange primo. I went ahead and made a little armature. I figured I'll make a little base for him. I got a little quarter inch dowel, ball of foil. This will be the fish. This will be the base he can stand on. And then a while back when I was thinking about doing this project, I went up and took some of my white clay and I molded up a little skull. I molded up with some white eyeballs for the little fish guy. I got some little bones and some little teeth for him. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and finish this project today since we're all under quarantine and we'll get something small done, but it'll still be cool. So let me get this cleared off. We'll roll some uh, yellow clay out and we'll get started on this base first and get that knocked out. Okay, per usual. Primo clay is such a bitch to condition, but I got it flattened out. I'm pretty happy with it. I got to get me a uh, pasta maker because, man, rolling out rolls sucks. Using the uh, old, uh, what is it, salad dressing bottle. So get him over here. Put our little base on. Want to make it look like a little underwater hill of some type. I'm just going to tear this clay. Let's see. Maybe something like this. Wrap it around. Get it all smashed down on there real nice. Something like that. Try and keep my original hole. All right, I'm gonna smooth this whole thing out. Wrap this whole base in clay. Get it all smoothed out, and we'll put some little wavy textures in it. It looks like the little dunes on the underside of a. Uh, of the water when the when the tide goes out. All right, I'm just sort of smoothing everything in, mashing it down, giving a nice little base, pushing everything up against that foil, and then smoothing out where all the little sheets of uh, clay connected. She's getting there. There you go. Looks like a nice smooth, lumpy wave of sand under the ocean floor. All right, I'm going to tuck all these edges all the way around, and then we'll put some little wavy textures on that with the ball stylus. All right, so I'm just kind of smoothing my little edges around, going all the way around the base of it. Just try and tuck that bottom edge in, make it look a little cleaner. Everything's kind of smoothed out that way. I think this will be the front of the little sculpture. Fish will be facing this way. So I just want to tuck all them little edges and smooth them out a little bit. That looks pretty good. I think we'll take like our, just a ball stylus. And I want to kind of put those little little waves in it. Like when the tide goes out and it leaves those little uh, little ripples in the sand underneath it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this whole thing with random little ripples, just like that. I'll roll it around where it needs to be. And then I'll just put line after line after line in it. And just kind of smash it down until I have that little wavy appearance like the sand under the ocean. Then I'll just kind of trace all random lines all the way around this little guy. All right, so I'm going to do that all over this whole structure, and then I'll come back and show you what I got. All righty, so I got all my little waves rolled out, like uh, ripples in the sand. I put a little cave in the backside. So I'm going to take uh, oh, a little bit of foil, and uh, I want to texture inside the mouth of this cave. Just make that a little bit rough, then I'll black that out after it's uh, ready for paint. Something like that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and brush this whole thing to make it smooth, and I'm gonna put some sand texture in this thing. So I've got a brush, put a little bit of clay softener right here on the, on the foil with it. Won't hurt anything and the brush. 
Hopefully this moves everything out. Make some ripples nice and soft. There we go. A little more out. Okay. Get the whole thing. Now it's nice and smooth. Get the little cave, cave door. I'm gonna leave the cave inside un, un uh, smoothed out. Leave a little bit of rough. Okay, all the way around the edges. All right, I think that's good. I'm gonna take my little wire brush and I just wanna dimple everywhere because that's gonna give it a nice little sand texture. Make it look like real sand. And then if I put like a tan wash or a brown wash on this after it's baked, it'll bite into all the little pits and make it look like real sand. Just makes it more believable. I like having me a stiff wire brush. All right. Okay. All right. And then I got some of our little bits that I've made before that I've already pre-baked. Like I said, I got the little skull, a couple of bones. And since that's the back of the structure, I think maybe we'll stick this little skull here. So I'll throw a little bit of bacon bond on there. Or maybe not. All right. Hopefully it won't affect that uh, clay softener. And since there is a foil base, oh, oven's ready. Let's stab that guy down into place. Like he's just sort of in the sand. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, we could stick a little bone in there somewhere. I'll make a little hole. Maybe, maybe up towards the top right here. Stab into the foil. Of course, now you're gonna give me problems. All right, a little X right there. Mm, gotta go deeper. Well, that actually fits in there okay. All right. I'm gonna go a little deeper, just for the hell of it. This first kid who plays with this will snap that damn bone right off. All right, shoot a little bacon bone in there. All right, stab this bone right in there. All right, that's cool. Place this guy somewhere. Maybe on the bottom ledge over here. Maybe on the front ledge. I don't know. Maybe back here. And we'll just tuck them right here on the smash them into the sand a little bit. Across the middle. And we'll just, just tuck them in there. And see, this bottom section is just about ready to bake. This will be our base. But I saw this on the cover. See that little fishy right there? But he's pretty cool. So maybe I'll make a little dead fish and tuck it somewhere along the side. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put some eyes in the back of the cave just for the hell of it. Dress it up a little bit in case you're looking at the back side. So I'm going to roll out a little bit of green clay for a fish. And then we'll uh, put some eyes in the cave. All right, so I took some of my little... Uh, green primo sculpty clay I had. I made a little fish carcass. I made a little couple of pair of eyes for the back of the cave. I just rolled out a little uh, little tiny worm of clay and just pinched it down to make the eyeball. So it looks like a pair of eyeballs creeping out of the back of the cave. So I'm gonna glue these guys down, find a place for them on the base, and I'm gonna bake this thing and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's baked. All right, so we got the base fresh out of the oven. Everything's baked. Should be nice and dry. I put it in for only 15 minutes since it's a really small skim layer. Uh, there's how the little eyes turned out in the cave. I think he's basically ready to go. We can start on the fish. I went ahead while this is in the oven baking and started on the fish. I just rolled out some orange Primo Sculpey. I kind of roughed in the little ball shape. There's his little tail, his eyeballs, and now I can kind of use a stand to work on them. Um, so 
I think what I want to do first is probably get his eyeballs. Got them basically ready here and pre-baked and then shove them in the, in the eye socket holes, place them. Looks like he's got pretty close together eyes. He's got six teeth, three on each side. So I'm gonna press his teeth in and put a lip on him. And I gotta do a top fin and do some little small side fins. So a couple of different pictures, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna bake and bond. Do a little here, do a little there, and press his eyes in, and then it looks like in most of the pictures he has little lower eyelids. No top lids, some little, well I guess those are technically some kind of fishy eyelids or something, I don't know. So we'll put some bottom, bottom eyelids on them for sure. Alright, so I'm going to press these in. I already feel him smashing his tail. All right, we'll roll a little bit of clay and we'll put some uh, lower eyelids on this guy. All righty, since it looks like he's got two different size eyelids, one lower lid is bigger than the other. We'll put them both on and then I'll just cut them down to size. So we'll stab that guy in there. And then I'll take this smaller lid and stretch this out. Just a base little worm of clay I smashed down with my finger. Then I'll tuck this guy on this side. This will probably be the smaller one since it's the bigger eye. I'm going to go ahead and peek those guys into place, get them cleaned up, and then I'll come back and show you his eyes. All right, so we've got his eyelids done since he's got lower lids but no top lids. I also got to put those little pieces on, but I figure I'm going to go ahead and get his teeth in. It looks in the pictures like he has... Yeah, like six teeth, biggest ones on the outside. So we're going to pop his teeth in. So I'm going to put a little bit of bacon bond across to hold his choppers in. I'm just going to brush that whole thing across because there's no sense in trying to do individual ones. There we go. All right. Get that crud off of them. Where the hell did that come from? All right, looks like his teeth end about, uh, under each eye. So we'll take his tiny ones first, and they come up to just about his eye. So, mm, something like that, push them over here a little more. Like that, maybe? Can we do his other teeth? Like that. Then his uh, second outside tooth. That's why I didn't put a central fin on yet, because I know I'd be smashing with my fingers. And then his outside tooth on this side. A pretty crazy freaking smile on this guy. That's probably got to go up higher. Bend this guy out a little bit. Okay. And this biggest one's on the outside. So get those in. Little choppers. That's a crazy looking goldfish. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak his teeth into place, and then I rolled out a big fat lower lip. I'm gonna press it across the bottom. I'm gonna blend in his lower lip and give him kind of a butt chin like he looks like on the cover of these books. So I'll show what that looks like when he's done. All right. So we're getting there. Went ahead and got his teeth. Uh, Kind of smooth out with his lower lip, kind of pressed into place. I'm still kind of dealing with that. I put a little bit more uh, clay on his chin to give him some more of that butt chin like in the picture. I went ahead and started on his tail. He's got those thin little fins back there. So all I've been doing is just taking a pair of pliers because there's no armature back here and smashing them in. And these are making the perfect little, 
perfect little uh, fin. And then I can razor blade it back and trim it down. So I'm gonna go smooth him out a little bit and I'm gonna start working on his center fin. I'll put some side fins on, do a little bit of detailing on this guy and then get him baked and get him in the oven so we can throw some paint on him. All right, so we're back. I got his little crazy upper eyebrows on. Got the little cuts put in his lower lip. I got his rear fin all fixed. Oh, that's gonna freaking break. And now it's time to go ahead and do his little mohawk. So I'm gonna put this on. I got a toothpick stabbed in there. I'm gonna wrap this around. And I'm gonna smooth this all in. And then I'm gonna do the pliers trick again where I pinch everything in between to get those little spines. I'll make some little uh, flipper fins for him. And then we'll get them baked and uh, we'll pull them out of the oven. But I'll show them to you right before I put them in. All righty. So this creepy little bastard's done. Got his fin. Got his uh, little dorsal fin, his side fins. I got some little tiny balls of clay smashed down like the little scales in the book. Shows he's got some little dots here and there. Went ahead and took a little uh, drinking straw, a really tiny one, and I cut it at an angle. Of course, it's probably not going to focus. And I'm going to use this guy to kind of go around him as one last step before I bake him and just press in little scales. It's about the exact same size this guy is. So I'm going to go around him and press in the scales. Ooh, let's put them on there. Then we're going to bake him. And we'll put him in a stand, throw some quick paint on him. So, next time you see them, they'll be coming out of the oven. All righty, so we're fresh out of the oven. We're waiting for this big boy to cool off. Came out pretty good. I'm gonna trim back his teeth a little bit. I'm gonna trim back his little comb and his fins a little bit in order to match the book. I don't wanna do it when the clay was soft because it's so thin. So, we're gonna let this uh, base cool off. We're gonna paint that first. Okay, so I wanna speed paste this paint, or speed paint the base. I got some uh, acrylic rust red. I'm going with the brown color. I made a little wash. It's just a little bit of water, a little bit of paint. And I kind of use acrylic, or I use uh, clear cups to paint when I'm making a wash. You can kind of brush on the side to see how strong you want it to be. Just an easy way to gauge if you need more paint or more water. So I'm gonna brush this whole thing. And then I'm gonna black out the uh, little cave entrance in the back. I'll paint the eyes on for a wash on this guy. And then that'll be all we do for this guy. Just enough to kind of fill in them pits and stuff. So I'm gonna wash this guy, go through the whole side. I'll paint the cave up. This guy will be done. When I'm finally finished with it and it's dry, I'm gonna put a coat of uh, gloss varnish on it. And you can use a spray can. I just don't have any here at home today. So I'm gonna uh, brush it old school. And then uh, when I come back, we're gonna start painting the fish because this guy will be done. All right, so I got them all trimmed up with the razor blade or uh, X-Acto knife, cut his teeth down a little bit cut his fins, cut the notches out of them. It was easier to do it when the clay was uh, cured and oven baked. Now I'm just making a little wash up against the uh, wall right here so I can try and fill in the rings of his eyes, all the little swirly patterns on there. And then I'm gonna wipe it off, get his eyes done. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint in between his uh, combs uh, red to match the book. So let me get his eyes knocked out, then I'll paint his combs. Alrighty, he's getting there. I got his little fins painted that same rust uh, red that I made the uh, wash out of. Painted his eyebrows the same brown color. Shaved his teeth, touched the little dots on him, give him some little interest points. I'm going to go ahead and try and tighten up his eyes a little bit, put on the last little details, and then we're going to call this guy done. So check him out. All right, I'm going to finish him up. All right, this me little bastard's done. This is what I started with, zombie goldfish, my daughter's books. Thought they were pretty cool. This is what I end up with. What do you guys think? Do you look like the book? I got them all glossed and cleared over. Got his little stand done. There's a little cave right there with the, uh, the little green eyes in there. A little skull. I got two coats of clear on the uh, brush down on the bottom little base. But he's done. I'm pretty happy with him. I think he turned out pretty good. I think he looks pretty close. I think the eyes could be better. But uh, it's for my daughter, so hopefully she don't give me too much grief. But uh, overall, I think he turned out okay. I went ahead and put an acrylic stem in since I had it. 
we'll let this guy dry. But that is my zombie fish. Let me uh, pull the camera off the tripod, see if I can get a closer, better look at him. All right. All right, folks, that's what I was going for. That's what I got stuck with. Well, for better or worse, he's a zombie fish. All right, hope you guys are hanging out. Hope you're enjoying the family time with all this coronavirus. Hope you guys are making stuff and uh, building stuff and working on your Halloween. I know I sure am. So until I see you guys again, you guys take it easy. Enjoy the zombie fish. And thanks so much for watching.